Hey friends, late start to the morning with you guys, but I have been on a live video with you for most of my morning. And so that was really, really fun. We're out front, guys. Please don't tell me it's gonna rain. I don't, um, uh, I don't know. Leave it there. So we have been playing it lazy. But we also had to wait for Jason to take Aunt Chelsea to urgent care again. And the interesting thing is, well, cut to his footage. He joined the live while he was there. He was supposed to with me, be with me. So I'm gonna cut to his footage and then come right back and I'll explain what they had happen at the urgent care. <laughs> All right, so Dana is doing the live feed and uh, we have been to the doctor. We got on it a little bit and chatted, but now we're waiting for the medicine, right? Yeah. yeah. What they say. Where, in here? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna take 15, 20 minutes. We came over pretty fast. Yeah. Um, not too far away from the doctors, but you haven't had any breakfast, have you? I haven't either. Maybe we'll get breakfast. Um, but otherwise, I think it's good news. I think the doctor should have given you an oral. Uh, and so he said your ear canal was so swollen so tight and small that uh, that's where they had to come up with the ear what is it ear sponge or something well, I mean it's a sponge yeah you put it in there so that it takes the medication he thought the medication wasn't even getting into the ear so they put this little thing in there it expands and then the wall it sucks the medicine down and through and into the ear but uh, should we try to find some food yeah you're hungry? hungry okay we're gonna try to find some food I hope the uh, live feed went well everybody enjoyed being on that um i got on for a little bit but uh yeah let's see what food we can find okay so what they found out from urgent care same one we went to the nurse is like oh so she's only on eardrops and not on oral antibiotics and he's like yeah you didn't give them to us last time we were here oh okay so yeah the doctor will be right in to see you they should have done it they should have given us oral ones from the very beginning. She didn't so, say that they should have done No, she didn't say that. I could just tell that but that's you, what she was thinking. Yeah. And then tell them what they did to her ear because they were like, well, I don't even think the eardrops that she's using are getting well, through. The eardrum is so closed up that they, he thought the drops were just sitting on top. So they put this wick where it's like a little sponge that goes in there and then it pulls, you drop it on top and it pulls the liquid down into the ear. So you can actually get the medication so get the onto medication it. Into the ear, because the ear is closed up so much. Yeah. So I'm thinking in the next 24 hours, hopefully she's feeling a lot better. She's gonna come with us today, but we brought an extra towel for her to lay on the beach instead of paddle boarding like we have planned. Where is Chels? Is she already, oh, she's making a friend. <laughs> and uh, she makes friends everywhere we go. She's so cute. Look at her just talking to us. <laughs> so cute. Hang on. So Chelsea's offered to help take her photo. Isn't that so cute? They're gonna go out there where it's really pretty and take her photo. photo. Luckily, Chelsea will be able to see what, that the shuttle's coming. She'll be able to run back. She'll be, she'll be like running. Um, anyway, now I forget what I was talking about. So by the time we get to tomorrow, I think Chelsea's gonna feel better, but unfortunately that's our last day. Right, Ash? Yep. We leave the day after that, but early in the morning. So it will be like, we won't be able to do anything really that morning. Anything to do here, so it's not like she missed out on like lots of fun. Well, we could have done one more snor snorkel spot. We haven't actually gone snorkeling. True. But like, it, she didn't really miss. A yeah. Lot. No. If so, it was Maui, you would. Yeah, Maui. And she, so she's kind of sad today yeah. that she's kind of missing out. But she's gonna come along with us, and we're kind of kind of set her out and let her lay down. Um, she, if she doesn't want to do the things that we're doing. She also can come in. She's yeah. Coming, yeah, she can come into the lagoon. So we're going to head over to the main Hilton. And we're going to go on the little boat tour. It's perfect weather for it because it's kind of cloudy. Hilton. Yeah, the big Hilton. Oh. Hilton. What? Chels, run back! Chels! She knows it's there. Um, we're going to go and do the little boat tour thingy. And then pick up our pictures at Dolphin Quest. And then I'm gonna rent some paddle boards for the older girls to do. Yeah. And then I'm hoping to get in and snorkel. Will you snorkel with me? Yeah, so I'll 
All that. right. Okay, we gotta hop on this shuttle. And I gotta get Chelsea back here. Oh, there she is. Look how cute she is. Look at her new shirt we got her last night. You love it? Yeah. It's really cute. It's totally her. I sent her a picture of it and she was like, yes, please. Go buy it. Okay, just picked up our pictures from Dolphin Quest. It's on a little downloadable disc that we can go online and get all of them. We have like 90 days to get it all downloaded. So here's a little sneak peek. You can see a couple pictures. But if you want to see the full day of us being at Dolphin Quest, go back a couple days and look for that. I haven't decided if I'm doing a separate video of just about Dolphin Quest because we couldn't take the GoPro in. But now we know that that big daddy, that's grandpa. There's a big dolphin and then a mama dolphin. Yep, there's a side daddy, mama, and baby. All swimming right there in the middle. And that, then there's a big grandpa. Anyway, it's kind of fun to come back and see them kind of knowing who they are. And uh, I don't remember their name. I wish I did. Part of the reason why I wanted to go pro so I could like, film that kind of stuff so we could remember it later. But anyway, we are headed over to the lagoon area here at the Hilton. We're gonna rent some, either two paddle boards or a paddle board and a kayak. Ash is like, I wanna do both. <laughs> They're 50 bucks each for like two hours, two or three hours. So it's not horrible. And Chelsea doesn't feel well. So I'm glad it's kind of overcast today. She can lay on a blanket and just kind of rest, but be out here with us. Hey, okay, Kaylee's got her paddle board. And then that one is for Abby, but she's up here getting her sunscreen on with Ashley. Come get on. Be good with her. Don't make her fall off. Then once to show you my intention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention Okay, Jason and I are gonna put the snorkel masks on and go hop out there and snorkel while Chelsea is kinda resting here. She can kinda watch her stuff, which is nice. Sad that she can't get in. Maybe she'll feel better to get on the paddle board in an hour just before our time is up. So Let's go snorkel. I wanted to snorkel so bad. So hopefully we see a lot of fish out here. We've already seen them like jumping up, so You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so alive. Always there in my mind. But I just don't know. On. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. Reach out to me. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Abby saw a turtle out there if you want to go follow her. You got it? You got it. It's hard to stand still. Your paddle is almost your balancer. Oh, that's what you just kneel. Or sit. Okay. Go so have fun. Oh, they're right there. They're gonna go and get Ashley in because she jumped in and she's too cold. So it's my turn to go out and see if I can find some turtles.
Yeah, it was quite fun. You had a good time? Yeah, it was fun. Ashley, did you like that? Being out on the paddle board? All right, I'd like to just sit here and have a snack and a drink, but the kids have already moved on. So we're gonna go and take the little uh, boat and it'll take us on a tour of the lagoon. This might be our last time coming over here. So we're gonna go do that and then they all wanna go back to the, our hotel and go to the hot tub. Yeah. It is still overcast. It's not cold, but when you're wet in the pool, I think the pool here is going to be too cold. Um, you're fine when you're in this water even, but when you get out, it's a little bit chilly when you're wet, but I think we're just ready to go back. That, if we, that way, if we go back to the hotel, Chelsea can go back and lay down. She still doesn't feel good. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. having Chelsea be so miserable. So we're trying to perk her up by going to get her some gifts. <laughs> she's already seen them, she's already said yes to them kind of when she felt better, but she didn't want to go out shopping. Um, we kind of wanted to make sure that that was what she wanted. And so definitely know that that's what she's gonna get. Oh, oops. So we're just gonna try and go get them for her while everyone else relaxes and she takes a nap. She's been asleep all afternoon and um, see if that will perk her up. But I did talk to my dad today and he said that he really likes this treatment plan and he is really frustrated as well that they, that they never gave her oral antibiotics. He did ask when they first went to urgent care, he's like, why did they give you oral? And I was like, I don't, I don't know, but like I don't, normally I don't need to question doctors. You know, I kind of trust their opinion. And so I just figured since it was a mild case, they didn't need to do that. Anyway, and then I told him about the wick thing. The wick, the ear wick that oh, is in yeah, her ear. Yeah. And I asked if I could put the hydrocortisone in that. And he says, no, because that wick is going to fall out as soon as that swelling comes down, which is going to be very soon. He said, that's the whole point of it is that it's going to get the medication where it needs to go um, because it hasn't been able to and then all the swelling is gonna go down and that wick is just gonna fall out. I, I thought we'd have to take it out, but it just falls out because the swelling is gone. Makes, Makes sense. sense. How do we keep it from falling into the air? I don't know. I don't know that science. <laughs> but it'll just fall out and then we can start using the hydrocortisone. But he said by tomorrow, she's gonna be a new person. And that's what we kind of thought all along, but uh, clearly she needed the oral antibiotics. But I just really hope she gets to have another day tomorrow. It's her last day. So, we'll see. There's literally a baby bird on our car. But we're driving. Did it fall out of a tree? Oh, it can't fly. Oh my gosh. I gotta turn on my, like, hazards. Where are the hazards? I mean, People can get around me here. Like, I don't know what to do. Oh, can it fly? It can't really fly. How'd it get on our car? You didn't see it fall? No. I just heard it like talking and I was like, why do I hear a bird in our car? Oh, the little guy 
Like, like you guys, we were driving like 25 we miles an hour. And I we hear this bird, and now we see it. It must have fallen out of a tree that you were went by, or, or how long has it been there? I don't know. Maybe it was in the tree. Back at our place. Are you looking at the camera? I'm looking at you. <laughs> I don't know, what do we do? I... Just drive to our place, I guess. It can't stay on it. Look how like hammered it is. It can't fly, so what do we do if we put do it on I the ground? And, like, put it on the ground? And then what? I don't know. At least take it by some place where it can... Let me go see if I can find a stick or something. Film me doing it. Careful, don't get hit. Oh, poor little baby bird. Oh, it flew away. It just flew away. Really? Yeah, it just flew away. Why was that not going? It's I don't know. It, it all of a sudden hopped up. Maybe it oh, was. You're going to show me trying to get into this car? <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. Oh, I know my friends that are short and have, us, have uh, these Suburbans. How the heck do you get into your car? All right, well, just that was an adventure. Wow. Also, we didn't get anything for Chelsea, so it's kind of an avail. And we had an almost dead bird on our car. So. End scene. And is that open? Yeah, here we go. Dana scored. There I think we go. we've only had to park far away, like, once. Well, I've had to do it twice, but that's me. But with the family, with us. Right up. Whoa. Wow. Oh. Someone does know how to drive, even large things. You know, I did learn to drive a car with an 11 passenger van. I learned to parallel park it and pass the test on that alone, so. Dreaming of you.